Why is the James Webb Telescope such a big deal? We have a good amount of telescopes here on Earth. What makes this one so special? To put it into perspective, let's compare it to perhaps the most famous of telescopes prior to the James Webb, the Hubble Telescope. Named in honor of astronomer Edwin Hubble, the Hubble Telescope is a large observatory in space, high above the clouds, nearly 340 miles above the Earth. Launched in 1990, this telescope provides scientists with the opportunity to see distant stars, faraway galaxies, and crystal clear views of planets in our solar system. But the James Webb Telescope is estimated to be a hundred times more powerful. Not only is it more powerful, but it's much further away. Where the Hubble Telescope orbits the Earth in space, the James Webb Telescope will be almost a million miles out in space to a place called L2. L2 is one of five Lagrange points, areas in space where objects sent there tend to stay put. So it's far away and more powerful, but that's not all. It also has an excellent view. The Hubble telescope's view is blocked by the Earth for part of each orbit, limiting where the telescope can look at at any given time. Meanwhile, the Webb telescope will enjoy an open, unobstructed view of the universe. So far away, more powerful, and a better view. But even though we're comparing the James Webb Telescope to the Hubble Telescope, they have the ability to do different things, and it all comes down to light. The Hubble basically sees what we see, visible light, but the Webb Telescope has the ability to see a lot more, long, infrared wavelengths of light. Let me explain. The light we can see is a spectrum of colors, like a rainbow. If an object moves closer, the light moves to the blue end of the spectrum as its wavelengths get shorter. When objects move further away from us, the light is shifted to the red end of the spectrum as its wavelengths get longer. Now the universe is constantly expanding, and the further we look, the faster the stuff we're looking at is moving away from us. So the further away they are, the more red their light gets. We call this red shifting, and this type of light is incredibly hard to see. So to see extremely far away things, we have to observe infrared light and use a telescope and tools meant for this type of light. And this is exactly what the James Webb Telescope can do. Now, light travels super fast, but it will still take a while to travel to us. For example, the light from the moon takes about one and a third seconds to reach us. The light from Jupiter takes up to 52 minutes to reach Earth. In faraway galaxies, like the Andromeda Galaxy, which is about 15 quintillion miles away, takes about two million years to reach us. So if we focused on the Andromeda Galaxy, we aren't seeing a live view. We're seeing how it looked two million years ago. So since the objects the telescope will be viewing are so far away, we're actually seeing the light they emitted billions of years ago. Considering this, we'll likely have the ability to see some of the first stars and galaxies beginning to form. So yeah, this is like a super far away, mega powerful telescope with an unobstructed view of the start of the universe. Pretty cool, right?